Hey, it's Ryan Alessi from Nickelodeon's All That. And today, I'm at the entrance of the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County. Slime can be found everywhere in nature. And because Nickelodeon loves slime so much, I'm taking you on a special behind the scenes tour that's very slimy. Let's go. This is so cool. Look at these dueling dinos. I'm the only one here! Wow. These dinosaurs are huge. Look how big this Triceratops' head is. We got bears over here. They actually look so realistic. Wow, this is really cool. Look how big the sea lion is. I can echo all day long! On our first slimy stop, we have the oarfish. It is one of the longest fish in the ocean. Long, tan, and handsome. Meep. The people that are brave enough to eat this say it tastes like gelatinous goo. Just needs a little bit of ketchup. You probably wouldn't want to eat this one because it's been sitting in chemicals for a long time. Gross. This is an ammonite. It's a mollusk that went extinct a long time ago. <laughs> Guys, it's six and a half feet tall. I'm only 5'11". Hello? We're on another part of our tour and we are in the nature lab. This is my lab. Oh, oh. And this is my laboratory. So in this tank is the Pacific tree frog. A fun fact about these frogs is that they breathe and drink through their slimy skin. There are over 6,000 species of frogs in this world, but this is the only one that makes that ribbit ribbit sound. <laughs> Guys, that's amazing. Well, let's look at snakes now. So right here are two snakes. Oh my gosh, this one's already greeting us to say hello. This is a rattlesnake. These can be found in California, and I have seen these near my house. And this is the first time I've ever stared at a rattlesnake straight in the eye. I guess I'm a snake charmer. We got a runner! Aw, El Diablo likes you. Aw! Do you know how I said I can go almost anywhere in the museum? Well, I'm gonna take you to the Marine Biodiversity Lab. Follow me. This is a super slimy alga, not plant. And it is found in every ocean in the world, and it is brown algae, also known as kelp. I'm pretty sure this is what SpongeBob eats. Mmm, kelpo. It's coated in a mucus that encourages bacteria to grow. This helps create food for marine life like snails and crabs. Life. It's overall really slimy, and I don't know if this looks that tasty. Look, it's Patrick. Patrick, your genius is showing. Where? So these are all unsorted specimens, fresh right from the ocean. They haven't been sorted by scientists yet, so they're in some sand or some sediment. There could be unknown species sitting in this exact aisle. This one hasn't been sorted yet, so I'm gonna name it Ryan in advance. This is the Polykey Collection, a word I just learned to pronounce today. Our first slimy creature. These worms make their homes out of slime, and they kind of look like plastic drinking straws. <sighs> yeah, I wouldn't want that in my soda. These are bristle worms, giant worms found deep in the Antarctic Ocean, and they fill themselves up with slime so they can glide easily through rocks at the bottom. They say the biggest one is about the size of a football cut in half. That's a big worm. So what's the plan, Sandy? Run faster! I get by that. Hey, everyone. We are in a top secret area that is just full of fish. Follow me. There are three million specimens of fishes here. They all have slimy stories, and let's go check them out. This is making me hungry for tuna. This is the hagfish, and it is the slimiest fish in the whole world. Uh-huh. Um, I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, but we're close. When a predator tries to catch it, it releases a bunch of slime in its mouth so it can easily slip away. Uh -huh. 
And this thing was caught in Long Beach, which is not too far from here, and I go swimming there sometimes. So now I know that this slimy guy is swimming near me while I'm in the ocean. That's great. You haven't seen the last of me. Mm, what a creepy old hagfish. So we're on our last part of the tour. We are in the entomology room, also known as the bug room. This is my favorite personal section, so let's go in. There are six million bugs in this collection. That is a lot of bugs. Pops likes his crickets chocolate covered, but I like mine plain. Just look how many drawers are in here. All different kinds of specimens from different places around the world. It's so interesting. I think these are like tiny little flies. Some of these are really rare. I gotta be super careful. Look at how big this beetle is. Like, if this beetle landed on you in the woods or in the forest, I would be so afraid. That thing's huge. Imagine it's just like you're sitting there and then this big guy just crawls on your arm. It's just enough to give you the, the shakes. Okay, so here is a great slime fact. These are ladybugs. And ladybugs have something called reflexive bleeding, and they release this ooze through their pores that make it distasteful to predators trying to eat them. Yeah, not so tasty. These right here are spiders. Oh, he's so creepy. Can I play with him, can I? It's so interesting because you don't get to see these spiders every day. <gasps> he's so adorable. This one's huge. Look at this one. Wow. That, I think, is the biggest spider I've ever seen in my whole life. They're cool to look at at a distance in jars. Maybe spiders aren't so bad after all. I mean, this one's kind of cute. Thanks for hanging out with me. Keep it slimy.